Hey guys, Owen here, and today I'm going to be painting the Tamiya Panzerkampfwagen 4. Before I glued all the parts together, I painted the interior Humbrol 34. With silver paint and a paper towel, I dry brushed on some scratch marks. I thinned some Revel Colour 82 to use for pre-shading. I didn't use black because I didn't want the effect to be too harsh. I shaded all the lower hull as that's where the shadows would be strongest. Thinning the paint 50-50 allowed me to blend it in with a cotton bud and I'll show it slowed down in a minute. The Panzer IVs later in the war were painted this sandy colour right at the factory, so I covered the entire underside in a base coat of Humboldt 93. On the upper hull and turret I began a rough camo pattern with Humboldt 93. I mixed Humbrol 160 and 93 to create this brown colour, thinned it down and used a cotton bud to blend it. Here you can see I painted the rough shape I want, then using small circular motions with the cotton bud blended it in, using the cleaner end of the cotton bud to tidy up. This was quite time consuming but it gets close to that airbrushed look. I actually found it was easier to blend the lighter colours over the darker ones, so I should have started with the green, then brown, then sandy colour last. This camera pattern evolved constantly as I applied second and third coats of paint later on. You'll notice it changing slightly throughout the video. I base coated the tools with Humbrol 32, then 56 for the silver. Once I attached them to the model, I matched them to the camouflage more. To weather the exhaust muffler, I covered it in poly cement glue, and then once the plastic had turned soft, stippled it with a brush. I'll later weather this further to make it look like rust. I dry brushed each of the camo colours mixed with some white over the areas in the centre of the panels to make them look weathered. Gloss varnish was applied to the areas where the decals would go. I soaked each decal in warm water for 12 seconds, then applied micro sets to the areas to help them stick and conform to the model. Micro cell had to be used to make the decals conform to the rivet heads better. That varnish sealed the decals on. I dry brushed the tracks with Humbrol 56 ready for further weathering later.
Finally, I attach the tow rope with PVA glue and the side skirt supports. I used PVA glue to attach these because the poly cement wouldn't have stuck to the paint. So the painting is finished. I'll leave you with some beauty shots in a sec. Um, in the next video, I'll be going through some weathering techniques. I'll be adding washes, paint chipping, and uh, mud. So don't miss that, and that will be completely finished. I still have no complaints about the kit so far. I think it's a really good kit. The paint um, blending is kind of a bit patchy. In some places it looks better than others, and it was really time consuming. But hey, I wanted to challenge myself, and I think I've done that. From a distance, it could almost look airbrushed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. I'll see you next time in the weathering video. Thanks for watching.